but a Democratic representative from Missouri, who is a United Methodist minister in Missouri, gave the opening prayer. Now, I am thankful that historically our nation gave, um, made acknowledgement of the need of God's blessing when, when the Constitution says shall not establish, you know, establishment clause, that was because all but just a few of the states already had established Christian denominations in their states. And the federal government was being limited from being able to do anything like that. But it, they did not say that the states could not do it. Um, so there was a open acknowledgement of the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the God of Scripture. Early court cases in the Supreme Court would frequently quote from Scripture. And here we are today. And at some point along the line, I started getting rather uncomfortable with politicized prayer. Because I, I believe prayer is worship. Um, I think there are some times in the church when we pray when we really should. If, if you're going to pray and it's going to be 10 seconds and it's just a formality, is that really worship? Um, but especially when we start talking about politic the politicization of prayer. That's concerned me for a long time. And so here you have a man standing in front of the House of Representatives, and he's wearing a mask. So even the, the poor C-SPAN, <laughs> C-SPAN, which has to broadcast all this stuff, they have a computer that's doing an automatic transcript type thing, you know, the subtitle stuff, and creates a transcript too. Well, now it's a mess because it was never designed to try to interpret somebody wearing a mask. But that's what you've got in this insane day. And so here's this fellow, and he starts his prayer. And he gets to the end. And you've seen it. He prays in the name of the monotheistic God and of Brahman, the Hindu God. So he, he figures he's got the Christians, the Jews, and the Muslims with the monotheistic God. You throw Brahman in, you get the Hindus. And then you just sort of, and by all the other names that we are now, that he is known, it is known, I don't know. Probably didn't even use a pronoun. <laughs> and then he gets to the end and says, Amen and all woman. And walks away from the mic. And uh, th there have been really lots of cool memes. That have appeared over the past couple of days. Because all of us who, you know, went to Bible college, maybe went to seminary, maybe taught a few years, decades, we're, <laughs> we're sitting there going, uh, that, that, that doesn't work. <laughs> there's, there's nothing about men in Amen. I mean, you know, Jesus says, Amen, amen, legosoi. I truly, truly, I say to you. Um, and that's a transliteration. So our amen is a transliteration of the Greek amen, which is 
technically a transliteration of the Hebrew Amen. And it's, it is so. It is a solemn oath. Let it be or it is so. It is true. That's, that's what Amen is. That's why you say it at the end of a prayer. And so to think that you can change it from a man to a woman really makes everyone go, you, you probably don't know where that came from, huh? Or do you really think that modern man has the right to change words that had that, that were irrelevant to your current motivations your your current crusade you know greatest human rights struggle ever transgenderism so we all saw it most people were chuckling at the ah woman thing so there's been you know we had the mandalorian now we're gonna have the ah woman woman delorean <laughs> And, and all the rest of the absurdity flows because it was an absurd thing to do. It was just absurd on its face. It was more absurd and far more offensive for a man who claims to be a Christian minister. Of course, it's United Methodist. Sorry, why United Methodist went Union Theological Seminary a long time ago. But to pray in the ostensibly in the name of the Christian God and then just and there's no difference between that and praying in the name of Allah or Brahman, whatever, you know. That was where the real offense was. That was where the real blasphemy was. And he will be held accountable for this. There's no question about it. it needs to be, somebody needs to tell him that, uh, as unpopular as that would be.